Hi everyone, welcome to this live stream, Power Your Job Search with Google Tools, hosted by Prairie View A&M University Cooperative Extension Program. As an extension of the university, we serve as the boots on the ground, providing evidence-based programs out in the communities that we serve. We work in the Community Economic Development Unit in El Paso and Willacy counties, and our jobs are to essentially create equity in the communities we serve through technical assistance and capacity building. Our unit is also a Grow with Google partner. Grow with Google helps people grow their skills, careers, and businesses by offering free digital skills training and tools. I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Andy Everett, and I'm the County Extension Agent in El Paso County. I'm so excited that you are here with us today. Today, we'll show you how Google tools can make your job search easier and more efficient. In this workshop, I'm working with Megan Guerrero. Later, I'll pass it off to her. We want this to be as helpful for you as possible, so make sure to post your questions directly under the live stream video, and we'll choose the top voted questions, so make sure to upvote your favorites. If we don't get to answer all of your posted questions, our team will reply and answer all questions directly after the event uh, virtual event concludes. And don't forget to post and share on social with, grow with hashtag grow with Google. So many people are launching a new job search from home. So let's get let's start by acknowledging some of the challenges to finding new opportunities from a remote location. Then we'll share some tips that that can make it easier for you to work from home and maximize your career potential. As I mentioned, finding a new job can be difficult, even under the best circumstances. Running a new career search while transitioning to working from home can be even more challenging. For example, you may not hear about as many opportunities through word of mouth as you would in a shared office space. Staying on top of a job search can be even more challenging if you're also managing childcare, domestic work, and new living arrangements. Today's workshop will show you how to use Google tools to manage some of these challenges. Before we dive in, let's talk about some best practices for running a job search from home. First, you wanna create or keep a routine. If you'd normally take a shower and have breakfast before work, keep doing that. Maintain regular hours, set a schedule, and try to keep to it. A routine, a routine will help you maintain a sense of normalcy and stay productive. Create a dedicated workspace. Find a spot to go to work in the same place every day. If you don't have the luxury of a dedicated office at home, at least work in the same seat at, the t at a table every day, even if you have to clean it up at dinner time. Take lunch and breaks. Make sure you add them to your schedule. It can be easy to forget breaks when you're working from home. Also, don't sit in front of, a com of your computer for eight solid hours. Every hour or so, give your body and your eyes a break by standing up and walking around. Gather the tools you'll need to be productive. You may find that you need office supplies that used to be provided by your workplace. Make a list of the supplies you use in a normal workday and take the time to purchase them for your home office. Create a daily to-do list and at the end of your workday, write the next day's to-do list. This will, this will help keep you from popping back to your computer after your work hours to complete just one more task and help you get your next morning of work off to a start, strong start. Most importantly, when your work day is done, close up shop. Remember, you're not at work. Don't spend time working. These are just a few strategies for managing a job search at home. Whether you're looking full-time or managing your current job while searching for your next opportunity. So in this workshop, we'll demonstrate how to manage the main tasks of a job search. First, we'll create a job search tracker in Google Sheets. We'll use a sheet to keep track of the jobs you want to apply for. The sheet will allow you to organize any information you find on jobs and you can return, it, return to it when you're ready to prepare and submit applications. A sheet helps you remember the jobs you're interested in and allows you to compare them to decide which one is best for you. Once you've built your sheets tracker to manage this whole process, we'll show you how to use jobs on Google search to find more jobs that are relevant to you. We'll show you how to search and filter your jobs that match your interests and experience, how to save jobs you like, and how to get alerts when your jobs, when new jobs are posted. Next, we'll talk briefly about how to create a resume with a simple, easy to use template in Google Docs. 
We'll explain some best practices, but if you're really interested in building or polishing your resume, check out our other workshop, Create a Resume with Google Docs on June 16th. Finally, we'll discuss the next phase of your job search, the interview. More and more jobs are transitioning to online interviews using video conferencing platforms like Google Meet. We'll walk you through some strategies to help you ace your digital interviews. The skills you learn in this workshop will help you during your job search and help you once, you've, once you're settled into a new role. Many jobs today require familiarity with technology like word processing and spreadsheets, so digital skills are more important than ever. As I talk about the features of the G Suite applications, feel free to experiment on your own device or follow along with our demonstrations. Let's get started. So when you begin looking for a job, you might start by visiting a company's web page and reading a job description. That can be a great way to get ideas about possible career options. But once you start collecting information about potential opportunities, you might find that it can be hard to keep all of your options straight. Lots of people find it easier to search for jobs and apply for them in separate waves. You might do a lot of searching online for jobs on one day while planning to apply for these jobs on a different day. But it's easy to forget about different jobs you found or lose a sense of urgency about them after your initial search. Plus, job openings are posted and removed all the time, so it can be difficult to keep up with them. To help you find opportunities and keep them organized, we're going to start by building a basic tracker in a Google Sheet. This tracker will help you manage the job search process from start to finish. To create your job search tracker, you will need to first sign into your Google account. Open a new tab in the browser window and go to google.com. If you are not signed in, click sign in and enter your user and, and password. Signing into your Google account allows you to access lots of Google apps that you can use for work and home. If you don't already have one, you can create a free, free Google account. After you signed into your Google account, use the Google Apps menu to move between applications. Click the Google Apps icon. These are all the Google applications that come with your account. Your most recently used apps are shown first. Click more to expand the list. You can get to Gmail, Sheets, and Slides. You can also access your Google Drive where all the projects are stored. Let's take a look at Google Drive first. Google Drive allows you to store, access, and share files like documents, slideshows, forms, and photos. Instead of storing them on your Google Drive files are stored in the cloud, a safe place on the internet where you can save important information. When you save something on your Google Drive, you can easily access it from your any computer, smartphone, or tablet with internet access. Files stored on Google Drive won't get lost, even if your computer crashes. And the projects you create with Google applications are all stored automatically on your Google Drive. You don't have to remember to click Save. This is what your Google Drive looks like. If you've never created anything with Google Apps before, it may be empty. If you have created projects in Google applications, they will be stored here. You can create new projects from your Google Drive. You can create a new tracker for your job search, create a new Google Sheet. You wanna click New and then select Google Sheets. Then click Blank Spreadsheet. Give your sheet a name like My, My Job Search. This becomes a file's name and offers you a way to find the file on your Google Drive. As soon as you open the sheet, it's saved automatically on your Google Drive. You do not have to do anything extra to save your projects. They save automatically whenever you make changes to them. Now take a look at this spreadsheet. A spreadsheet contains many rectangles called cells. Cells are organized into rows, which have a number. Every cell and columns which have a letter. Every cell has an address based on its column and row. For example, this cell, A1, where it says job position, because it is in column A, row one. You can navigate the spreadsheet by clicking in different cells, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around the grid. You can add text, 
formatting, formulas, and functions to cells. You can use Google Sheets to manage many aspects of your work or personal life. For example, you could use a spreadsheet like this one to create a budget, calculate progress towards your goals, or plan a trip. To make your job search easier and clearer, let's customize this spreadsheet so it tracks the most important, it tracks, tracks the important information about each potential job. First, add some headings to keep track of the information about the jobs you find in your search. In each cell of the first row of your sheet, add a heading for the job title, the company name, the salary or hourly rate if it is listed, the website URL, so you can return to the listing, and any notes. These are just suggestions. You can make headings for whatever you think will be the most helpful in your job search. For example, if you're expanding your search beyond your current area, you might add a column for location. Or you might add a new column called work from home to track whether a job is remote or on site. You may even want to add additional column headings to help compare your information you're interested in, like a job's benefits or perks or the distance from your home. As you proceed with your job search, you'll add details about your spreadsheet to keep all the information you need. You can also add headings and expand your sheet as you're looking as you start looking for jobs. Adding visual elements can help you read the information in the sheet more easily. Change the format of the headings if you'd like. Select cells or rows and select different fill colors. Or, or to make the information easier to read, change the font style, size, or color. These are just a few things you can do with a spreadsheet tracker for your job search. If you're interested in taking your spreadsheet to the next level, remember to look out for our new workshop on June 16th, Create a Resume with Google Docs. In that workshop, we'll dive into how to add coloring, drop-down menus, and other formatting to keep your spreadsheet organized and useful. For now, let's move on to the next phase of our job search. Okay, now that you're set, that you've set up your sheet with some of the things you're looking for, let's search for jobs. Chances are you've already used a digital tool to, to find new career opportunities. Most employers list new jobs online and manage the entire application process digitally. To help you find new opportunities, we'll use jobs on Google search. Jobs on Google search pulls advertisements from all over the internet and creates one easy list of potential jobs. You can start your job search through a regular Google search. Whether you're following along now or plan to begin your search later, open a new browser tab on your device. That way you can have your Google search open in one tab and your sheet open in the other. You can add to your search to your sheet while you search. Now type google.com in the address bar. In the search bar, type in the query about the kind of jobs you're looking for. You may want to use terms like jobs near me, retail jobs, part-time jobs, or customer service jobs. You can also use type a question like, what are the best jobs near me? Add search terms that work for you and your job search. And if you're not sure what kind of job you're looking for, add search terms about fields that interest you, fields you have experience in. If you're looking for a job in a different city, include the search, the city in your search. For example, you might search jobs in Columbus or, jo or managing, manufacturing jobs in Atlanta. And if you're a veteran or a military spouse, you can search for opportunities unique to you too. I'll speak more about that in a moment. To move forward with your search, please, Press enter and check out the results. Your basic Google search will show you a preview of several possible jobs. You can click on these jobs directly if they interest you or select the job at the top right to expand your search. Next, check out the results of your expanded search. To make searching for jobs easier, Google finds listings from all over the internet and collects them in one search result. A snapshot, a snapshot of jobs that meet your search criteria appears on the Google search page. Click a, a result or click explore jobs to look at the full list. Each listing contains important details about the position, including ways to apply, salary information, a description of the work, reviews of the company, and more. 
You can read through this information to decide, decide which jobs might be right for you. Depending on what industry you can work in, you may choose to narrow your search using some of the Google's built-in tools. For example, one feature of the job search on, on Google gives veterans the option to search for jobs using M MOS or Military Occupational Specialty Code. In the search bar, type in a query about the kind of jobs you're looking for. You may want to use terms like veterans, veteran jobs near me, veteran management jobs, and add the name of your city, IT jobs for veterans, just to name a few. Once you've run a search query related to veterans jobs, you'll be prompted to enter your MOS code. Veterans and military personnel transition, transitioning back into civilian life can enter the MOS code on job search to help them find civilian jobs that require similar skills to the ones that they used in their military roles. Whether you're transitioning to a civilian career or just moving forward with a new job search, your next step is to process your search results. So let's talk about how to narrow your job search to make the application process easier. Your search may have returned lots of jobs. To get more specific results, you want to choose a filter. A filter is a search tool that emphasizes the most relevant results. You can find dozens of filters arranged as clickable tiles at the top of the job search page. You can filter your job search by job title, location, the date the job was posted, the type of job, or the employer. These filters are pretty straightforward. Let's go deeper into two more filters that might be particularly relevant. The filter work from home allows you to move to find remote opportunities. Select this filter to see only jobs that allow you to work from home. Let's imagine that at this point, you've selected a job that matches your needs. You've read through the job description and you're interested in the position. If you think you might want to apply for the position but don't want to do it right now, click Save. This bookmarks the listing so you don't have to search for it again. At the top of the jobs listing is a tab called Saved. Click this tab to see all the jobs you've saved in the past. This shows all the jobs you've saved in one list without the jobs you're not, you aren't interested in. You've learned a lot about how to use Google to search for a new job, but the landscape of availability of available jobs is always changing. It's important to check out to check job listings frequently so you don't miss out on opportunities on, on opportunities. Employers post new opportunities all the time and not on a specific schedule. Performing an Internet search every day and sorting through it to find new jobs can take a lot of your time. Time can be used that time that can be used to using to write your resume or prepare for interviews to save time when searching for job list listings, set up email alerts. When you set an alert, you will automatically receive an email about listings that match your search criteria. To receive emails about your job search, on the lower left of your screen, turn on alerts by clicking alerts are on for this search. At this point in your job search, you're ho you'll hopefully have found several opportunities and the alerts that you set up will keep you updated about more jobs as they become available. You probably, you'll probably apply for several jobs and it can be difficult to remember all of the details about the application process. Remember the tracker sheet we set up earlier? You can use it to keep track of all the possible opportunities. As you, for, as you find jobs that interest you, enter the details into your spreadsheet, and you can use that sheet as a hub for all of your applications and interviews, and you can easily track the status of your application by glancing at the sheet. Fill out your tracker with potential opportunities as you find them. After you spent time searching, you can review the sheet to decide which opportunities to apply for. And as you proceed through the application process, you can use the sheet to track every application. Now I'm going to pass it off to my co-presenter, Megan Guerrero. Megan? Thank you, Andy. So let's get started. Let's continue our job search process. Now that you've created a list of jobs you're interested in, it's time to work on your resume. Having a resume prepared will streamline your job application process. 
you could begin a resume by opening a blank document and listing your name, contact information, and professional experience. But do make, but to make the process faster and easier, let's start off with a template. Template templates are like a pattern you use as a guide. They provide design elements and formatting that you can use as a starting point for your projects. They also keep font sizes and styles consistent through your document. Google Docs also offers a lot of free professional resume templates to get you started. The layout font and colors are different for each template, but they all contain the same basic information you'll need for your resume. Your contact information, skills, experience, and education, as well as accomplishments or projects you've completed. After you select the template, you can customize the document from there. To access these templates, start from your Google Drive. Click New, Google Docs, Form a Template, and rename your template so it's easier for you to find later. After the workshop, take a look at these templates and think about which one might work best for you. Some of the templates lend themselves to certain industry. You may want to check with a colleague about standard styles in your field. For example, a creative person like a graphic designer might want to use more of a creative resume template to show off their skills even before the interview. Once you choose a resume template, you once you choose a resume template you want to use, add in your name, contact information and professional history. Select a placeholder text and type your own information. For extra guidance on what to include in a resume, how to make a strong impression, Check out our workshop I mentioned earlier, improve your resume with practical strategies at a later date. For now, let's discuss some basic ways to customize your resume. Templates come with pre-arranged formatting, but you can edit a template to fit your own style. You can change the font, choose one of the, one of the looks professional, Add, format, add formatting like bolding section headers and adding italics. And you can add hyperlinks to show potential employers more of your work. Adding elements like this will make your resume easy to read and unique to you, even when you begin from a pre-formatted template. As you work on your resume, you're probably you probably won't finish in one sitting. In fact, taking bre breaks and returning to your resume can be a great way to ensure you've got fresh eyes and sp spot opportunities for improvement. To help this editing process, use the commenting feature in Google Docs. For example, if you want to provide more specific information or a measurable detail like your sales record, add a comment. Select the text you want to comment on. Insert a comment that explains what you want to change. Select comment to complete your comment. Google Docs saves comments automatically, so you will always have a record of your thoughts. While you're searching for a new job, you'll probably apply for lots of new opportunities. You may even apply for different kinds of jobs in different industries. If that's the case, you may want to create, dis create distinct resumes for, the dif for different purposes. For example, you can, you can improve your resume by including keywords from one specific job description in skills or experience sections. You can start from scratch by building a brand new resume for each, res each responsible job. But that can be tedious and time consuming, especially if the resumes are similar. To make sure your application process easy, easier, you can copy 
a resume and edit it for particular jobs. Instead of starting a new document every time, first make a copy and then rename it so it's easier, easily to tell the difference between versions of your resume. When you make a copy, remember that Google Docs automatically saves edits in version history. So you don't necessarily need to make new copies for each draft. If you edit your resume over a long period of time, you can get confused between draft one, draft three, and so on. Instead of use, use copies to identify the different purpose for each file. For example, if you're a designer with web experience, you might have one resume titled web design resume and find a different one for a broader work called graphic design resume. Your job search process will be a lot more successful if you get feedback on materials. To get someone else's input on your resume, share the document with them. Select the share icon, enter an email address for a person whose input you want, and select what kind of access they should have. Can Edit allows the person to edit document directly. If you want someone to write, your, write in your document, they'll need edit access. Can Comment allows the person to add comments to the document, but not change anything. For example, you want a friend or a colleague to review the resume and comment on anything that is missing from your skills or experience section. Can view allows a person to see the document but not make any alterations at all. You might want to choose can view if you want to be able to see, you want for them to be able to see your resume, but you don't want them to make any suggestions or change. Notice that the box at the bottom labeled notify people when a shared document sheet or presentation with someone, they will receive an email about it. If you do not want to send an email, uncheck this box. Next, you can add a note about the document and click send. The next time the person checks their Gmail, they will receive an email from Google Docs that includes your note and the links to access the document. You can organize different versions of your resume using folders in Google Drive. But to keep track of an individual job search, you can also include a link to each distinct resume in your job search tracker sheet. These individual resumes can come in handy when, a, when you progress to the interview stage. By keeping track of them, you can review the exact resume you sent to refresh your memory on what company already know what the company knows about you. And you can also use this information to anticipate potential questions. To add different resume versions to your tracker, you would simply select add a new column title resume, copy the link for a resume that is tailored to the specific job. Find the row that contains the information about that job and add. Paste the link to your resume in the appropriate cell. By keeping record of each resume, you can prepare yourself to give a strong interview. Next, let's talk a little bit about Speaking of interviews, more and more companies are hosting their interviews online using tools like Google Meet. Google Meet is a video conferencing tool that allows you to connect friends, family, and colleagues from any place with an internet connect connection. You can use Meet to host meetings at work, and while you're looking for a new job, you will likely use Meet to attend an interview. Even if your interview takes place in person, you can use Meet to practice beforehand. There are a lot of advantages to video conferencing for a first interview or 
for the whole interview process. Companies save money on your visit, and it can be easier for job seekers to fit in interviews alongside their current work or ongoing job search. But many job seekers find video interviews intimidating. Maybe seeing your own video feed makes you nervous, or maybe throughout the background noise causing you anxiety about the microphone. Let's go over a few ways to ace a remote interview. Just as an in-person interview, your skills get better with practice. To calm any potential nerves about video conferencing and to ensure you, you look prepared and professional, take a look at these tips for interviewing with Google Meet. Here are some best practices that will help you prepare. When you're speaking with your interviewer, look toward the camera. Depending on the size and shape of the device, your interviewer's face may appear near the bottom of your screen. So if you look directly at their face, it might make it as appear they're not making eye contact. To help your interviewers feel like you're getting to know, like they're getting to know you, keep your eyes up and focused on the camera. Next, even if you're nervous, speak slowly and clearly. Anxiety can make some people speak faster, which can make you harder to hear or understand. Remind yourself to breathe and answer thoughtfully at, the, at a slow pace. One way to ensure your interviewers see you in the best light, pay attention to lighting. To look professional, place a warm colored lamp near the back of your computer screen and consider changing your desktop background to a light color. The extra lighting reflecting from your face will make it easier to use. And since a lot of communication is nonverbal, the, if the interviewer is able to see your face, they will be able to communicate, you, com communicate with you more smoothly. As many of us are transitioning to working from home, your office might be a kitchen, a living room, or a basement. If you can, find a neutral background to avoid distractions. To shine during a remote interview, dress for an interview, even if you're doing it from your living room. Pay attention to how you present yourself. Paying attention to how you, pre how you present yourself will show your interviewers that, you, you, that you're taking the opportunity seriously. Finally, interviewing is a skill and you'll get better with practice. As a colleague or a friend, to hold a mock interview with you. To learn more about setting up your own video calls with Google Meet, check out our other workshop, Collaborate Meet and Work Remotely. Google tools can simplify your job search process from the start to finish. At this point, we've examined several aspects of finding new career opportunities, from searching to them, preparing a resume, and managing a process, and giving, an in, giving a view interview. Let's review. We created a job search tracker in Google, seat, Google Sheets. You can use the tracker to manage all of your career options, record notes about each interview, and track the status of your applications. Next, we use job, jobs in Google search to find potential opportunities. We examine filters that can narrow down your search, and you can, you can use these to filter to find jobs specifically for veterans to locate remote opportunities, and to find growing companies. To prepare you for the interview process, we examined Google Docs resume templates, and we previewed how to comment, copy, and share a file so that you can edit for every unique application. Finally, we went over some tips 
for giving a great interview in Google Meet. We talked about managing the video call, including, including selecting layouts and presenting your screen. And I gave you some ideas for how to present yourself effectively during the interview itself. Job searching from home can be intimidating, but it can be a great opportunity to grow your professional skills. To help, we compile digital resources that can make your job search easier, more organized, and more effective. Next, I'll share some training, some Google training resources, Google that you can access remotely. There are many different learning paths and options so we'll talk about these tools and determine which one make the most sense for you right now. Today we touched today we touched on a few of these collaboration features Google has to offer. To get more in-depth training on these tools, Google offers free G Suite training. You can even get an official certification in G Suite if you'd like. Anyone can complete all of the G Suite trainings at no cost through the Applied Digital Skills, an online platform for digital learning. If you don't, if you don't plan to get your G Suite certification, these lessons can help you get familiar with all of the G Suite applications. Applied Digital Skills free training curriculum helps you with more skills that you might want to learn from data analysis to research and communication to re resume writing. There are lessons for adult learners as well as ones for middle and high school students. If you want to sharpen your business and marketing skills, check out Primer. Primer is a free app you can download to your phone. If you have an Android device, you can download it at Google Play. If you have an Apple device, you can download it from the Apple App Store. It has a series of short, fun business marketing lessons that are all under minutes. If you really want to become an expert at Google Apps for Business, visit Skillshops, formerly called Academy for Ads. Skillshops is one stop training for center for everyone who uses Google professional tools and solutions. There's training on Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google My Business, and more. The lessons here are categorized based on your experience. There's information perfect for beginners, intermediate, and even advanced users, and it's all available for free. I know we went over a lot of different training options. To access it all in one location, visit the Grow with Google website at grow.google.com You'll find more information, training resources, and more for small businesses, job seekers and students, veterans and military families, educators, developers, and startups. Thank you, Megan. So let's regroup and talk about your next steps in your job search. We want you to leave this workshop with a clear sense of what you should do next. So here are a few ways to move forward. Create a job search tracker using Google Sheets. To develop your resume, open a new Google Doc and review possible templates to get you started. To continue growing your career in other ways, consider our other professionalization workshops. These courses help you work, teach, and learn from anywhere. Here are all the resources we mentioned in today's presentation. Check out these websites for more in-depth information on what we covered today. We want to thank you for attending this workshop. 
And we also want to um, invite you to attend our other workshops on June 16th, create a resume with Google Docs, and June, June 23rd, digital skills for everyday tasks, and June 30th, collaborate, meet, and work remotely. So this wraps up our presentation portion of today's workshop. Um, please enter any questions that you have in the TED spots in the comments below, and we'll try to get to your questions. Thank you for attending today.